12 personnel zone left. Collins is at 10 yard. He's king the tight end, the tight end down block. So now he has to naturally feel it. And he comes up to make a solid one on one tackle against Fournette. 12 personnel, cover one, five yards off of O'Shaughnessy. He's playing a catch technique. He does a good job of collisioning at the top of the route right when he was trying to break and ducking underneath to get his hand in there for the PBU. 11 personnel, zone left. He's in a wheel linebacker. He's in the 30 shade. He's the cutback guy. He shuffle, shuffle, slow plays it, and now he attacks the B-gap to where he can make the play on Miller. Empty personnel, he's in the slot, manned up on Ryan Griffin. Griffin is going to run a nine route, takes an outside release. Landon does a good job of staying in his hip pocket, get his head around to get the PBU at the right time. Trips left tight. The Giants are in a disguise cover one. He and Janoris Jenkins are going to make a switch call, which places Landon one-on-one -on, -one on Benjamin Watson, who breaks on the out route. But Landon does a good job of fighting to the end of the whistle to get the ball out at the last second. 12 personnel zone left. Landon is a free-range player. He's reading the triangle, which is the center guard guard through the running back. The running back does the zone left motion, and now he just runs the alley and comes up and make a phenomenal tackle. 10 personnel zone right. Landon is in the middle linebacker. He's in the 10 shade. He does a good job of not being reached by the guard and just coming in with a clear shot to make a tackle on Alvin Kamara. 12 personnel Z sweep left. Um, Collins does a good job of beating the base out by Benjamin Watson and just keeping his outside arm free to make the tackle again. 11 personnel, cover one, look, he's manned up on Josh Hill. Notice how he's peeking in, though, so got to be aware of the seat gap blitz, which it is, and now he just chases Kamara down from the backside for the tackle. 11 personnel, inside split divide zone, quarterback keep. Collins is in a weak linebacker position. He does a good job of just staying patient until he can actually see the mess clear up to make the tackle on Hill. 11 personnel landing is at the middle linebacker position. This is a dodge play. He's going to come untouched, and he comes in to make a one-on-one -on -one fundamentally sound tackle on Kamara. 11 personnel, the Giants are in the cover one. They make a switch call, so Landon end up being man-to-man -man on McCaffrey um, because they know he's going to run an angle route, and he comes in at the right time for the PBU. 10 personnel, Collins is in a max overload look. As if he is blitzing, he does blitz, so it's four against three. McCaffrey tries to cut block him, but he uses his athleticism to just be an athlete and jump over the cut to get in the throwing vision of Cam Newton, who was trying to hit the sit route for the interception. Eleven personnel. Collins is to walk down safety. He's going to do a D gap blitz at the last second and just chase it down from the backside to hold Clement to a one yard gain. Eleven personnel. It's a zone left look with the dive footwork by the running back. Collins has to make the defensive end right and fit off of whichever way that the running back goes, and he does just that for the tackle. Eleven personnel fake fly sweep trap left. Collins just does a good job of seeing space, attacking it, and getting skinny so he don't get crack blocked to make the tackle on AP. Eleven personnel cover one look manned up on Jordan Reed. He's outside leverage of Reed because he has help inside. Once he sees that it's a run, he gets off of it, works inside, and comes up to find the sweet spot on the football to make Adrian Peterson fumble, which is very rare, but hey, very instinctive play. 12 personnel toss left. He is the alley runner because Janoris Jenkins is outside, so he doesn't have outside contain. So now he's just a free roamer and comes up to make the tackle. Bunch close, fly sweep, half back dive. Uh, this nothing phenomenal here. He just does a good job and just standing his ground and just getting his neck on the football, man. This is what you love to see as a football coach. 21 personnel zone right. Collins is playing defense in, stand up in at that. He's just going to chase this play down from the backside. Um, just doing his job, nothing more, nothing less for a TFL. Unbalanced left, 12 personnel. Collins is seven yards off. He's just going to get skinny through the D-gap like a little mouse, trying to get to the little mouse trap and makes the tackle for loss on Barber. 11 personnel, this is called a wham play where the guard is going to wham the nose tackle and the slot receiver is going to wham the outside linebacker, which happens to be Collins, but Collins beat them to the punch to make the tackle on Adams. 
10 personnel, this is a grit play. This is what you like to see as a defensive coordinator. Guys not giving up. It's a one-on-one B-gap blitz versus the running back, Clement. Clement does a good job, but Landon Collins just wanted it, and he just kept fighting and just got up and tried to get the quarterback pressure on wins. 12 personnel split divide zone right. Collins just uses his football instincts and taps inside of his defensive end, which causes Brandon Brooks to stutter a little bit, and he doesn't get a clean base out block on him, and Collins just interrupted it for the tackle for loss. 11 personnel, cover one, he's the rock safety. He's manned up on Trey Burton. Now he's just going to rock down at the line of scrimmage to make sure that it is indeed a run. And now he just chases it down from the backside and makes the tackle. And there you guys have it. Just finished a film breakdown of Landon Collins. Just signed the six-year, $84 million deal with the Washington Redskins. He had 96 tackles, five tackles for loss, two quarterback hits, one forced fumble, four PBUs, and only 12 games. You would like to see him get his hands around the ball more, but they asked him to be more so in the box. I believe that he is more than just a box safety, and he just really was just being a good player and a good teammate by doing what the coaches asked him to do. But, hey, that's my take on it. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. Get at me on all of my platforms, and I will hit you back. Peace.